Tested. Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, today we are testing out the peel. Mm, like an orange peel. It's more it like a pear like, peel. Yeah, it looks like a pear. It looks like the form. It's a Pokeball. That's what it is. It's a what? Pokeball. What's a Pokeball? Oh, very good. Pass that test. So uh, what this guy is, is it's kind of a weird universal remote. Uh, come, there's two parts, basically. You get That's not a remote. This is a remote. What? It's a remote. IR? Uh, IR. Okay. And the way it works, well, and it has RF as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's really straightforward. There's a C cell battery in here. It C cell battery. It comes with a C cell battery. Sure it does. It says that the battery lasts for a very long time. I didn't test it enough to run it down any at all, so I have no yes. idea how long so it lasts. So you don't want to plug this in. This connects to your living room devices. You, you put this in your living room, yeah. aimed at your TV. You aim the fat end of the bulb yep. at your TV, it your says DVR. In the bottom. Exactly. Little arrow points for TV. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you aim that at, at, at uh, all your entertainment center stuff, basically. Okay. Uh, hopefully it's not behind doors like mine is, because I had to open all my doors. And then you plug this guy in. Wait, even glass doors? No, I have okay. I have wood doors Solid and doors. RF. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you plug this guy into your router and power. It has electricity on the oh, other it end. It seems awfully complicated. It is. It is. Uh, it, well, it seemed pretty pretty complex. It was surprisingly straightforward when you set up. The actual instructions that come with it basically just say, "Hey, download this app." The app will. Walk it is door. app based, so it yes. turns your iOS device, your exactly, your iPad, iPhone, iPad. Uh, it's mostly iPod iPhone, touch, iPod Touch. Sure. You can, of course, use it on the iPad, but yep. for all intents and purposes, it's a blown up iPhone app. Walk me through the flow chart. I'm going to go plug where this in. Data works. I'm going to go plug this in. All right. We're going to do a clock swipe or something. I'll be right back and uh, it'll be set up and ready to go. Okay, so I've plugged the peel into the network. Right. Uh, what this does basically is gives you a way to connect your iPhone, which is on the wired Ethernet wireless e network with all your other devices in your house, uh, with this guy, which uses something proprietary. I, I assume it's some sort of RF. It's not, it doesn't connect to Wi-Fi. With just a C cell battery, it would run down really fast yeah. and wouldn't work very so, well. The app yes. connects to your Wi-Fi router. Yes. That connects to the little dongle, the dongle thing. over Ethernet. Yes. And that dongle connects to this to here right. over some proprietary connection. Exactly. That's not Wi-Fi. So then that's just what exactly you just said. Took what I said. But and you, repeated but you it. don't need line of sight. You don't need line of sight. Okay. So for example, the dongle thing was in my office, plugged mm -hmm. into my Ethernet yeah. router. Uh, this was in my living room. Everything worked fine. It was like so 20 probably feet. Probably not RF either. Uh, it is RF. Or it is RF. Okay, not IR. It's not IR. Got it. So here's what the app actually does. Okay. Uh, it, well, first off, you don't need the fruit in order to use the app. Uh, it works just as a phone, as a as a TV discovery service, and it does things like tells you, you know, shows you the list of what's on right now. So, so you, you tell it where you're located, what type of cable provider you have. Exactly. It's a TV guide, basically. Uh, pretty much, but it's a little smarter than that. You can set favorites, favorite shows, stuff like that. Uh, it, it asks questions to determine what Looks cable like you provider like scrubs, you have. Will. I haven't actually used uh, it on the phone. I was using it on the iPad, so okay. I know one. I got scrubs. no beef with scrubs. Oh. What's her name? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. She was okay on How I Met Your Mother. What's, yeah. what's your problem with Jack uh, Brad? Yeah, you mean she was okay on Roseanne? Oh yeah, she was okay on Roseanne. She replaced the other one. Um, anyway. Anyway, so the way this works, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you tell it where you are. It says, oh hey, who's your provider? Comcast. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says, what kind of TV do you have? I have a Panasonic. Mm -hmm. It says, do you control your TV volume with your stereo or with your right. TV? So I told it what kind of receiver I have. Tell it what kind of DVR I have. So it's all natural language, like walking you through setting up your devices. Yeah, you don't have to know model numbers yeah. or anything like that, like you do with a Harmony, which makes it a lot easier. Yeah. And you do it all in the app, which is good, because with the Harmony, you do a desktop client, and you have to sync it with exactly. your remote every time with the USB cable. Anytime every you change something. You change your kind of a device. Drag. Yeah. So but could it find all your devices? It found all my devices relatively easily, and I have a kind of esoteric mm -hmm. uh, receiver. It's really old, and it's a JVC, yeah. which I've never, ever seen before. And it works so, with like consoles also. It, uh, it'll change settings for streaming boxes. doesn't really work with consoles per se. Because Bluetooth proprietary for PlayStation. Um, but. Yes, but it's not, it's, not for, it's not for switching inputs to other devices. It's for exposing interesting TV that's on right now. Got it. Uh, which actually brings me to one of my other issues with it. it but, you know, just like the Google TV, mm. it doesn't know what's on your DVR. Mm. So, yes. you know, it doesn't know that I have three episodes of Walking Dead on because I've fallen behind. Yep. Uh, so when I'm looking at what's it on... It doesn't talk directly to TiVo. Exactly. When I'm looking at what's on, it's literally just what's showing right now. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool, though. I have to say it's much more, much more useful than just channel up, channel up, channel up, channel up, channel up. But through. does it know like what's on demand for Comcast? Uh, it doesn't get into that level of detail oh, either. Okay. Uh, so just, just real time programming. Real time programming, old school TV as TV. All right. So let me show you that. Like I said, this will work without the without this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have this thing, then it'll actually go through and, and change, change the, channel the channel for you and stuff yeah. like that. So I can say, okay, here's what's on right now. 
Uh, this is based on channels, on types of content that I said I like. So I said I like comedies, I said I like procedural crime, I said I like reality. You're middle America. I am, I, I didn't put that I like Modern Family, but it is implied. Okay. Uh, and look, I get suggestions like according to Jim. Oh, I could watch that on TV right now. There's not actually a TV in this room, but we're gonna cheat and say watch on TV. And when you do that, it switches over to remote control mode. Okay. Uh, so at that point, okay, I'm gonna close that tip. Uh, at that point, you have normal TiVo buttons because mm -hmm. I told it I have a TiVo. Yep. Uh, and then you can also go over here to like the, the nav buttons. Now, this is one of the places it kind of gets weird because the nav buttons aren't like tap over here. It's drag and oh, drag and... That is really weird. So it's a little bit awkward. You yeah. still have all the thumbs up and thumbs down stuff that uh, you become wow. accustomed to on So TV. it's like because you have a touch screen, we're going to make it touch friendly and do crazy touch it, things with it. Uh, yeah, and, and I don't like touch screen remotes to begin with because yeah. I like to be able to hit the buttons without looking at the remote at all. Okay. Uh, so this, this is kind of not a great experience for me. Right. Uh, you do have options to tweet or Facebook post the things that you're watching at that Is it its own knowledge. proprietary tweet, like, is it just like, oh, I'm watching with peel, not like... Let's see. Like get glued? I don't think I've hooked it, no, I hooked it up on, uh, on my iPad, so we're not going to go through probably that. Probably just a regular tweet. It says I'm watching app, it says I'm watching according to Jim on, on TV right, right now. Um, now, there's other stuff you can do. You can favorite individual shows. Mm -hmm. Oops. Going back. Going back. Uh, so I can say, oh, I really love... Uh, wait, hold on. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to love according to Jim. Well, too it's bad. It's not a good program. Will loves according to Jim. Oh God. Uh, you can go into favorite shows, so you can see. Okay, Star Trek's coming up next on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazing Race will be down here on Sunday. And now that it knows that I like according to Jim, that's going to pollute all of my listings. I'm going to unfavorite that right now. Sorry, Jim. Uh, other stuff that's uh, pretty neat is you can go into. Uh, you can set favorite channels as well. I haven't done that. I don't care about channels. I just care about content. Uh, you can see by TV shows, and here you can drill down into specific categories. So you can see things like, you know, uh, comedies, dramas, science, yeah. you know, get get all the way down into like all the categorization stuff that you, you become accustomed to. You do the same thing for movies and sports as well. It's pretty handy. Do you find the app is useful not owning the peel? I think the app is probably good on its own. Uh, yeah. I don't like watching live TV, so I'm probably not the best person to review this or yeah. test this. Uh, but I, I can see how if you didn't want to pay the monthly charge for a DVR, whether it's the 15 bucks for TiVo or the mm -hmm. Typhoon Comcast, this could actually help you get more out of the TV that you watch already. Sure. Uh, because those on-screen navigation, it's terrible. Like the, the Comcast menu. Yeah, like really the grid. Slow. Oh, I hate the, that. The grid is. I mean, the grid is basically TV guide mm -hmm. for our century with no kind of interactivity, yeah. no and learning, slow, no knowledge, and not enough information. Yeah. 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 Um, as a TiVo user, I think the actual TiVo app is significantly more useful than something like this because that can get into mm -hmm. the list of things that are on your TV. It'll look into the other types of content that are available on TiVo, whether they're from Netflix or Amazon or whatever. And then on the iPad, it's just a blown up iPad. Uh, it's iPhone. just a blown up iPhone version on the iPad. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to pay money for the DVR, I think this is actually a pretty good free app. I don't know that it's worth spending 99 bucks on this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's neat. Would you choose this over a Harmony Remote? Uh, it's a, they're solving different problems. So Harmony Remote is getting rid of all the remotes in your living room. Mm -hmm. This is making it easier and even lazier for you to find the TV that you want to watch. Okay. Um, this isn't going to solve the, hey, I need to, I don't know which input on the TV yeah, exactly. and which input on the receiver is the Xbox. You could kind of jury rig that with this, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be a great experience um, like the Harmony is. Because the Harmony, the whole point of the Harmony is you say, say, okay, my activity is to play Xbox games. I hit the play Xbox yeah, games love that. and it does all of the stuff for you. Uh, While well, this will do that, not the intended purpose. It's neat, 99 bucks. I think the app is probably more useful than the, than the, than the fruit. Interesting, weird design with a beige color. I don't, I don't think that beige. I think the thought with the beige was probably to make hey, it look it, good. It, wow, let's spin the bottle. There you go. Oh god, don't end up on me. No. Uh, beige was designed to look good in any living room. Yeah, it kind looks of good in none. Yeah. I have a like, yellow living room. It doesn't look good there either. So I would rather see something either a little more futuristic or a little less innocuous. Well, that's the peel. That's the, the app. app. The app is free. App's free. The actual peel, 99 bucks. Yeah. I'm well. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.